Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Whirlpool washer or door bellow seal. It's going to be a very easy repair and it's only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new door bellow seal. The door bellow seal is attached to the outer tub in the front panel and it seals that area from water. The main reason to be changing it out is if it's torn or damaged and you're getting water leaking on the floor. In order to get to the part, we have to go around back. Now that we're around back, we can use our quarter inch nut driver to take out the screws that hold the top on. Once you have the screws out, we can take the top off. We're going to lift up on the back a little bit and then pull it back so the front releases. Once you have it released, you can lift it off and set it aside. Next, we can remove the detergent drawer. All you have to do is pull it all the way out, and once it stops, you can reach in and press the release and pull it off the rest of the way. Once you have it out, you can set it aside. Now that we have the drawer out, we can use our Torque 20 driver to take out the screw that holds the console. Now that we have that screw out, we can open up the washer door and right at the top of the door but the bottom of the console, there's a Phillips screw that we have to remove. We're going to use our Phillips screwdriver to take it out. Once you have the screw out, we can unsnap the console from the washer. There's a couple locking tabs across the top that we have to unsnap. Once you have the locking tabs released, you don't just want to pull it off. You have to go from the back behind the electronic control. There's a little locking tab right here. We're going to press on it with a flathead screwdriver. Once you have it released, then we can pull the console off. Once you have the console removed, we can carefully set it onto the top of the washer. Now that we have the console off the washer, we can take the door switch assembly off. We're going to use a Torque 20 driver to take out the screws. Once you have the screws out, we can take off the clamp that holds the door bellow seal to the front panel. There's usually a spring, usually down at the bottom about 6 o'clock. So we're just going to take a small flathead screwdriver and carefully get underneath it. And then once you have it lifted up, you can pull the clamp off all the way around the seal. Once you have it off, you can set it aside. And then we can take the seal and break it off the whole front panel and push it into the washer so we can remove the front panel. Once you have the seal removed, we can take off the access panel at the bottom of the washer. We're going to use our quarter inch nut driver to take out the screws. Once you have the last screw out, we can lower the access panel down pull it off and set it aside. Now that we have the access panel out of the way, we can use the quarter inch nut driver to remove the four screws that hold the front panel on. We're going to take the bottom ones off first. As you're taking the last screw out, you want to make sure you support the front panel with your hand. Then once you have the screw out, you can use the door to help support it. We can pull the bottom out and then lower it down and then take it off the machine. Once you have it off, you can set it aside. Now that we have the front panel off, we have access to the inner bellow clamp. It's located around the outer portion of the door bellow seal. 
In order to get it off, we're going to use our Phillips screwdriver to loosen up the clamp. Once you have the clamp loosened up, we can unhook it from the screw and then pull it off the door bellow seal. Just goes in a groove all the way around the seal. All you have to do is lift it out and pull it out of the washer. Now that we have the clamp off, we can pull the door bellow seal off. Just goes in this groove around the tub. All you have to do is carefully pull it off. Once you have it out of the groove, you can pull it out of the washer and set it aside. Here's the old door bellow seal next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at appliancepartspros.com. Looks like they made a few changes on the new one, but it'll go on and work fine. Before we put the new door bellow seal on, you want to make sure you clean the lip up around the outer tub, and then we can put the seal in. There's little tabs on the top and bottom that say up and down. Make sure you have the one that says up at 12 o'clock. And then you want to look at the inside of the bellow seal. And there's this little lip right here, and that has to go right in the lip of the tub. And we're just going to work that all the way around the lip on the outer tub. When we put the clamp back on, it goes right in this groove right here. We're going to line it up so that the screw is right at 10 o'clock, right where we took it off. And then we can go all the way around and put the clamp into the groove. Once you have it all the way around, we're going to put the two halves together and use our Phillips screwdriver to tighten the clamp down. Once you have the clamp tightened down, you want to make sure you grab the seal and give it a tug all the way around the outer edges to make sure it's not going to come off. You don't want it to come off the first time the tub shakes around. Once you're sure it's on there secure, we can put the washer back together. To put the front panel on, we're just going to carefully guide it into place. and. Make sure you lift this lip up underneath the console there. And once you have it in place, you can lower the bottom half down. And then we're going to support it while we put the screws in on the top with our quarter inch nut driver. Now we can put the lower screws in. Now that we have the panel installed, we can mount the door switch. In order to put the door switch in, we're going to reach in behind the seal and line it up with the openings in the front panel. Once you have it lined up, you can hold it there while we put in one of the screws with a Torque 20 driver. Now that we have the door switch mounted, we can put the bellow seal onto the front panel. To put the door bellow seal onto the front panel, we have to make sure that this lip right here goes into the groove around the front panel. Once you have it on all the way around, we can put the spring clamp in to hold it in place. Once you have it on, we can put the clamp on. We're going to put the spring of the clamp on at 6 o'clock, just like it was when we took it off. Once you have it in there, we're going to work one side of it around in the groove, and then you're going to get to the other side where you can't get it to go in there anymore. And then we're going to hold it there, and then we're going to grab down here with the locking pliers and pull to the outer edge of the washing machine. If you pull away from the washing machine, you're just going to pull it out of the groove again. So just hold it with the locking pliers and pull it towards the side of the machine.
Once you have the clamp in the groove and you're sure it's secure all the way around the door, we can put the lower access panel back on the washer. All you have to do is line up these pins with the holes and lift it up into place. Once you have it in there, you can hold it up and use the quarter inch nut driver to put the screws in. Now we can put the control panel on. All you have to do is lift it up and put it in place. You want to make sure that this white locking tab goes into its little cutout. And then once you have that in, we're going to push the console in to snap it in. But you want to make sure that the metal tab for the screw goes inside the console. Once you have it lined up, you can snap it on. Once you have the console back on the washer, we can use our Phillips screwdriver to put in the bottom screw. Once you have the screw tightened down, we can close the washer door and then we can use the Torque 20 driver to put the screw back in that holds the console. Once you have it tightened down, we can put the detergent drawer back in. To put the detergent drawer back in, all you have to do is line it up on the rails and push it all the way back. Once you have it in, we can put the top back on the washer. In order to put the top back on, we're just going to set the front of the panel in between that plastic ridge and the front console. Once you have it in there, we're going to lower it down and push it forward at the same time. Once you have it all the way in, you can set the back down and then we can use the quarter inch nut driver to put the screws in. Now that we have the washer put back together, we can plug it back in and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.